I'm the GOAT I still look in the mirror like no harm Harold, it's another physical Tuesday for you guys today. Today, we are getting into it, man. We are going to talk about three new tips for football players. Three new tips. So, if you're a new football player, you need to pay attention, you need to lock in, make sure you got a notepad, pay attention to what we are saying on this channel today. So, let's get into it, man. Playing football can be a scary experience. That's point number one. And the truth is, it is just because it's new. It's not really scary because it's scary it's just scary because it's new and if i understand some of y'all are backyard bullies some of y'all have been playing since y'all been playing in the backyard forever and some of y'all are like hood legends <laughs> but the truth of the matter is putting on equipment is nothing different it's literally the same game same things going on there's a new experience with the equipment but it's the same game there's nothing to really be scared about but here's three secrets i could give you to really lock in and the first is you gotta understand it's a journey it's not you're not just gonna be julio jones day one you gotta make sure that you're putting in that work you gotta make sure you're becoming better every single day becoming the best that you can be becoming the best you could do every single drill, drill by drill, rep by rep, day by day. Next, you wanna get a connection between your equipment and yourself. That's more important. A lot of times people don't realize the importance of that, but you wanna make sure that you are literally, when you're putting your shoulder pads on, you're making sure you feel comfortable with the shoulder pads on. When you're putting your everything on, your girdle, pants, anything, Anything you put on a helmet, you want to make sure it fits perfect. You want to make sure this stuff is done when the equipment is issued to you. Be proactive. If you get the helmet and the coach gives you a helmet and he gives you a beaker or he gives you some type of corny cage or some type of corny helmet, tell him, like, yo, I'm not comfortable in the way this fits. Get a new helmet because how you feel in your gear is going to determine how you play. If you feel like you got trash gear on, you're going to play trash. I live this. <laughs> I lived that my, my junior year when I transferred. I had a terrible year my junior year, and my equipment was terrible. Just that simple. Like, I felt like I was playing in used old, old equipment from the 70s, and I played like it. And last, you want to make sure you have to under, you have to improve your skill. So, like, improving your skill is literally just putting in that work every day. If you're a wide receiver, make sure you're catching passes every single day after practice. If you're a running back, making sure you do ladder drills or you're, work, you're working on changing direction daily. You're working on hitting the hole. You're working on carrying the ball. Make sure you're making the right move, catching the ball out of the backfield. Improve your skill daily. So understand it's a journey. Get a connection between equipment and yourself and work on your skill daily. Peace. Check this video out on the screen if you want to be mean on that green or reel on that field, or extort on that court. The No Bottle Left Behind Act supports this video. You feel me?